Bro, nobody's ever asked me that. I've been married five times, man. The first time I got married, I was really young and she cheated on me and broke my heart. The next four times I got married was strictly for financial reasons. See, I'm an in-ground swimming pool builder, so I'm constantly in contact with women that have a lot of money or women that are freshly out of divorces and untook half their old man and they're ready to spend it. Bro, if I knew that, I would finesse my way into getting them to date me with the goal of them marrying me. See, I say if you're talented at something, you should always get paid for it. And my town is getting wealthy women to marry me <laughs> without a prenup but this job ain't for everybody man a couple of my wives look like ass man like i was repulsed to touch them or sleep with them or kiss them but all i had to do was hang out for a couple years get a divorce and then get a nice little settlement at the end now my last ex-wife i hit the jackpot she was hot and she was a trust fund baby she literally financed my entire swimming pool company that i still have to this day and i got her pregnant twice so once we got a divorce i got joint custody and now i get a really fat child support check every month from her Fellas, if you're good looking or you got game or both, don't waste that shit on love. You just gonna end up lonely and broke. Man, I never heard it like this is a country white dude telling you how to finesse and how to get on pookie time. Not to say, and I've always said white guys, anybody can be a pookie at the end of the day. But bro is like, he couldn't even stand to kiss him. And that's kind of dope. A lot of you guys who are in those fields who are providing a customer service and things like that to women that are going through divorces. And a lot of times this is something that needs to be said. Women are typically when they're getting out of divorce, sometimes they don't want to get back into a marriage. So they'll deal with a guy who may be around just what is it by proximity? Women will deal with the man based off proximity and who they see. Hence why you see women dealing with brothers, cousins, best friends, all these other things, all these shows where Women are deleting their husbands or having another guy delete their husband because they're messing with the brother, best friend, business partner, whatever. This happens. And bro was like, yo, I got took to the cleaners on my first time around. Let me, I've learned enough. And a lot of dudes, they do get taken to the cleaners several times. But he said the last four times he was, City Boys was up with that one. He was on some Lex Luthor type of stuff. Remember on Superman Returns? Was that Superman Returns? Where he married the woman and the family didn't want, it was like, oh no, no. He had her sign on her deathbed, everything over to him. And he got his money. I think that was Superman Returns. You guys can correct me. I've said it before. But a lot of dudes do marry women just for money. And they get over on them. And they, I don't want to say take advantage because women do it all the time. This is something that women have been doing. So it's good to see this going on. Now, you got women like Holly Berry and you got the Mary J. Blodges and stuff. They're complaining about it and say it sucks. And how can men do this? How can men get child support? And I, I even heard a man say, if men get child support, you're just a woman. Man, listen, if you like to part with your money, even Tyrese, the stuff going on with Tyrese now, they signed a prenup and all that, and she's still dragging this stuff out two years later, guys. So, fellas, if you got a finesse game, like you said, if you're good looking, and a lot of times pookies don't have to be good looking. They just have to have a silver tongue. Usually some women is like the uglier the better. But like Buddy said, if you can finesse and pull a K-Fed or other Kevin Federline and get over on a woman and do that, hey, my man said he get a fat child support check. Just like Holly Berry's handing over, what, two different child support checks? That's saying something. And I know both of these are white guys, but they both each get $8,000 a month in child support from her. So she's going to have to, and she's like, oh my goodness. So that says a lot, man, but I got one. I think we got an attorney here that's talking about this as well, what he represented. And attorneys are like some of the worst because they know they egg a lot of this foolishness on. But let's hear him talk about it. Let's go. I think they, that men and women have different problems post-divorce and, and um, the world could be better to both of them. I think that I have some women who... Uh, who, you know, I've done their divorce and whatever guy is with them is going to be very lucky because they're, they're beautiful, they're smart, they're good moms, but they're also, you know, vibrant, exciting women. Now they're loaded. And they've got money now. Yeah, they've got money. They don't have as much financial insecurity. Although I have to tell you that, you know, it's the last remaining feminist taboo. I got a lot of women paying alimony these days. I mean, you know, women can, women marry the like handsome musician who's not successful or the artist, you no, know, like there's a lot of, listen, we, no, it hasn't it. been, you know, th 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 there's been a significant effort in, in our culture in the last decade, if anyone didn't notice, 
to improve the situation of women. If you have an equally qualified man and an equally qualified woman, the woman's the diversity hire, the man's not. So I, I have a lot of women who get, when they get told like, oh yeah, no, you gotta give him half your shit. Or, oh no, you gotta pay alimony because he makes 50 grand a year and you make 250. And they're like, you know, they could be the staunchest feminist in the world. And when you tell them they got to pay alimony, they're like, whoa, 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 whoa. He's a man. He's got a strong back. He can get out there and work. And, and then suddenly the whole like gender is a construct and there's no such thing. That goes right out the window when you got told you got to pay alimony. That's like, nope, no, 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 no. I believe in strict gender roles. Men should pay alimony. Women, even if you earn 10 times, you should not have to pay alimony. I've had, I've had very, very staunchly feminist clients who, who changed their mind about how feminist they were when they got told that they were going to have to pay alimony. And we already know feminists, they'll try to say in public, I'm all for paying that. No, you're not. All this feminism is conditional. And we know this when it comes to women, the feminism, even when it comes to when we talk about transgender things and playing in different sports and all these different things like that, it's all conditional. So this is no different. And like you said, they can be diehard feminists. But when you tell them you got to cut that check and pay, oh, he's not a man. He's not a man. Da, da, da. Baby, equal rights. This is what come along with it. You want to be treated equal. And a lot of women are waking up and they want to talk trash about men at this point. But you want to have it both ways and you want to have it just your way. And it doesn't work like that, sweetheart. You have to basically admit that you are in love. If you get finessed, you just happen to be one of those that are finessed. It's unfair as this is that or whatever. Men have been taken to the cleaners for a long time now. So it happened in the youth, baby. Just get used to it. Maybe you'll learn the next time. Maybe you'll do a prenup. But even like I said before, even with these prenups, these prenups, the attorneys are still pushing for these things to go to trial, man, to test the validity of it and all this stuff, man. Yo, I'm not signing nothing. I'm not signing anything. That's just the way it is. You're not about to get me in a position where I'm just looking crazy and you want to drag things out and all this stuff because you're upset or you're mad. Child support is child support. I, I believe you need to take care of your kids. Two adults should be able to come to an understanding. I understand some men want to be unfair when it comes to that. Some women want to be unfair. Same thing with custody. But alimony, cut that check, baby. Child support, if he's the custodial parent, cut that check, baby. Stop all the talking. Anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think about this and buddy and what this attorney said right here. Comment below. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit me up on Linktree to book a one-on-one -on -one with yours. Truly purchase all my books, merch, t-shirts. Helps to support the channel. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. With that being said, much blessings and abundance. Stick around for the next video that's going to pop up on the screen below. That's where I'm going to see you guys at. It's your favorite everything. This is Wisdom. I'm out of here. Peace. Uh, yeah. 50 cents. 50. Part 2. Bring it back. Uh, yeah. Can't forget Tony. 50. UK!